Hey, what's up, guys? It's Cliff with Pink Flamingo Power Wash. I'm back with a brand new video for you guys. Today, we're working in Tampa Terrace, Florida. We're here for a roof cleaning. Uh, customers saw us in the neighborhood about about a couple months ago, and uh, took my number down and uh, called me back out to get this roof clean. Give them the estimate. I measured it online. I actually didn't see the roof in person. Um, Give them the estimate, and we are here today. Me and my buddy Chris. We're gonna be doing on uh, this uh, job together. We got two jobs on the schedule. So today, this morning, we're gonna be doing this uh, roof cleaning. Next, we got a house wash, pool deck, pool cage, and driveway cleaning. Um, before I start, I thank you all for all the support. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell so you know when I put up these videos. I do videos at least like three times a week. So you guys just stay tuned. I'm gonna show you guys what this job looks like. So the customer doesn't want the driveway done. This is the roof here. You can see it's pretty dark. If you look at the top of the roof, the very top, you can see that's the real color of the roof. It might be even be lighter. Um, we're doing a, our setup now, hooking up everything. The gutters doesn't lead to any grassy areas. Like over here leads to mulch. Over here, look, you can see the downspouts. They're all leading to mulch areas, so we don't have to worry about killing any plants. Chris is gonna be my ground guy. We may move these little delicate plants that's brand new, just to be safe uh, from overspray. Over here, we got, you know, see the gutters going to the ground. Got my buddy Chris out here with me. Shout out to Clean Street Pressure Washing. If you're in the Dunedin area. Chris doesn't travel too much, guys. Chris stays in Dunedin area. He might go to Clearwater. He doesn't travel too much, but this roof is pretty dark. Look at how dark this roof is, guys. We technically could do this roof from the ground, but I'm just gonna go up there and just spray it real fast. Um, we're good on the downspouts back here. Probably gonna protect this area here because there's no gutter right here. So it's gonna hit the deck. So Chris is gonna make sure that's rinsed up. And over here, we got some plants right here that we gotta be careful with. So this is what we're looking like down here. When I get up there, I'm gonna show you guys the top view of the roof. All right, guys, this is the top portion of the roof. You guys can see how dirty this thing is guys probably never been cleaned before the house is going on the market for sale i mean look at this thing guys <laughs> pretty bad but we're gonna bring it back to life we're gonna start spraying from back here and i'm gonna go into the front so i got chris back there spraying all the plants you see him down there making sure the deck is wet before we start but we don't have no gutters right here in the middle
guys, we got one side of the roof sprayed. So you guys can see the major difference. This side reacted real fast because this roof is very dirty. I mean, look at the left and look at the right side. Total transformation. Um, I think I'm gonna put you guys on a tripod downstairs so we can get a, a shot from behind of me cleaning the roof. Let's go. guys we're all sprayed up up top you guys can see the major difference of the roof totally different roof this is why you network and do great work <laughs> uh, this house is going on the market I'm pretty sure I, like you know you guys probably heard that you know the value can go up on a home by 10% just by having it cleaned up uh, when we pulled up I'll put the picture up top for you guys saw what the roof looked like I mean if you buying this house how are you gonna look at the house with a clean roof like this versus the dirty roof I mean this thing is flawless clean I mean look at this back section so I supposed to look got my boy Chris down there kept everything wet everything is good 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 to go we're gonna wrap it up guys i'll see you guys on the next job you know you hit it big when you hired your own chauffeur say hi to us peons cliff get to driving <laughs> <laughs> all right we got the second job for the day second and final job we may do one more but i'm not sure the uh the last one may be a driveway if the customer wants to get on we'll do it um we've been having some cloud cloud cover today the rain's coming coming in and out so um we see what happens so this is the house we're doing here um it's not really that bad it's going on the market as well um they were concerned about the gutters how dirty they were they are gonna be painting the gutters you can see how the paint is bubbling up so that we're gonna be um, blasting it we're not blasting this off all that right there we're not gonna be blasting this off with soft washing Let's take a look around. The windows um, got some algae on it. The house itself is not really that bad. See, we got some algae build up on the window sills. We are gonna be doing the pool deck back here in the pool cage. Cage is not bad at all, really. Just the basic dust that you may hear, you might have in here, little cobwebs and stuff. Um, the cage is oxidized. So, um, you know, you get that on camera just to show the customer. We've already told them that. You can, you can see it. See, see the section, how white and 
it looks, that's all oxidation. That's it. So, uh, we're gonna soft wash the cage. We're gonna soft wash the deck. We may so we may surface clean the deck. It's okay to surface clean the deck, but we could we actually could soft wash it if we want to. Um, gonna be a little trick shot to hit these areas here. I see a mud dauber up there. We may have to get up there, but I'm not sure. I don't like walking on these things, uh, these porches, man. <laughs> uh, back here, same thing. We got a lot of dirty window sills that we gotta clean up. Pretty cruddy right here. Look at that. Ugh. Chris has already pre treated the driveway. Everything is pre treated now. Now we're just going ahead and uh, starting to find our essays on the house. <laughs> you worried? Oh, you worried about it? <laughs> no, I want to rinse it. Oh, we're gonna rinse it. Real, well, we can do one side here and then rinse it off yep. pretty quick, so we don't have to worry about that. Got the wind blowing real good over here today. See the wind's blowing this way, so we see the overspray. It's going that way, so that's why we don't want to get a bunch of overspray on that paint. So when we're gonna apply the SH here and rinse within a few minutes. Without, a, without so long of a draw time, just because of that neighbor's house. So now I had Chris uh, pre-treat the deck. We are gonna soft wash the deck. No surface cleaning needed. We're gonna surface clean the driveway though. Uh, all the windows has been sprayed. All that stuff is coming off nicely. We're gonna give it some dwell time before we rinse it. Ugh, I think it's bad. Chris is spraying the outside right now. Uh, what we did was we washed the front of the house and that side over there, that's close to that gate. Rinsed that up. Now we just soaked up this side of the house and we also soaked up the inside of the cage, the deck, the back wall. And uh, when we rinse that up, we're gonna move up to the front to knock out the driveway. House wasn't that bad, like I said, but the windows definitely stood out. That was a major concern. Look at that. That window's looking clean right now. Okay, now we're in rinse mode. Chris uh, is rinsing outside of the cage, as well as the, you know, the walls of the house. Man, it's hot out here, boy. Let's see that smoke coming off that room, uh, off that roof. I don't know if y'all can see it. That little nice little rain we had this morning. It's not, well, I don't know if we couldn't call it a rain. We had a light drizzle, but it's been 95, 96 degrees. Heat index 103. It's been brutal in Florida, man. <laughs> Hurricane season about to come, so that's gonna mess us up. You know, 
a little bit because it, it's gonna rain every afternoon. And, and sometimes, you know, those hurricanes, man, they, they mess everything up. We might be down for a week. You guys saw what we went through last year. Okay, you need more hose? No. All right.
Chris is finishing up the food deck here. Uh, we soft wash it and we just put a little post treatment on there, downstream mix, just to brighten it up. Everything else is clean back here. The cage is already clean. It's not gonna hurt the pool deck to uh, post treat it. You can do this on the pool deck. It's just a downstream mix. It's not gonna do anything to it. Same thing, um, you know, like I said before, this pool chlorine is in, in the pool already. And pool chlorine is what you post treat with. So it's nothing that's not already touching the pool deck. Up here is, so back here is all done. And clean back here, man. Look at that. We're gonna, we also washed the chairs for them. You know, since they were in here already. Just a nice gesture. Uh, everything else is already washed. The house is washed. You can see the windows from earlier. Everything is cleaned up. And we're gonna jump on the driveway cleaning now, which we had already downstream from when we begin the project in the beginning. So um, now she's ready to go to surface clean. We're gonna be using a 24 inch surface cleaner. We're using Chris's rig today, so. 24 inch whisper wash. Watch how fast he moves. sped up or nothing like that this is real time this is how fast it's moving with the 20 24 inch with a 5.5 gpm and we have 200 feet of hose on there too We all finished with the job here. This is the driveway, nice and clean. Uh, we turbo nozzle rinsed it because um, there was a lot of weeds in the cracks uh, from the driveway. It got a lot of cracks, so we cleaned those uh, those weeds out of the cracks. Sidewalks are cleaned up. You guys already seen the back. We're gonna rinse up the front of the house. I always rinse the front just uh, because it just good gesture because uh customers drive up and uh they might dra drag the dirt onto the driveway right after it's got uh getting clean so i always rinse the front of the house you know all the areas that i worked in but as far as the house goes everything looks great uh we did brush the gutters on this one here because they were really bad uh normally i don't brush gutters uh but the customers wanted them clean extra clean especially up here they're gonna paint they gotta repaint this area here so we didn't blast it with pressure, soft wash it. Uh, use a little bit of a uh, degreaser on there, some SH on there, get it clean. We have some mud daubers here uh, all around the top. We got the mud daubers cleaned up out of the corners. Chris is gonna rinse up the area in the front and then we're gonna break out, we'll be done. I don't think we're gonna do with the, uh, the next one. If the customer wants to, we'll do it. If not, you know, it is what it is. All right, you guys, I appreciate y'all's support, man. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. If you're new to the channel, hit that bell so you know when I put up a new video. Enjoy your day, your night, your evening, whenever you're watching. God bless y'all, and I'm gonna see y'all in the next one. Peace. Mr. Gordon, my van needs a miracle. <laughs>